I really hope that you find this video useful. If you do, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, then hi, my name's Michelle, and I do make quite a lot of foodie content. Um, not normally wearing a Christmas jumper, um, so I would love for you to subscribe. Breakfast. So breakfast for me is honestly the most important meal of my day. It sets me up, it gives me energy when I first get started. So the first thing that I do when I wake up is generally have a pint of water. I take some water to bed with me um, and I'll sip it throughout the night and then I'll down that when I wake up and then when I come downstairs I'll get some fresh water to start my day. And um, Because I used to find that I would always drink like two cups of coffee in the morning but it was more because I was thirsty than I actually needed the coffee. Um, so yeah, first of all I'll drink my water and now I'm going to get on and make breakfast so I always make my breakfast depending on what I'm having for lunch and dinner um, because I don't then I'll know where I'm using my healthy extra A's and B's so today for my breakfast I'm going to make an omelette omelette is just one of my go-to breakfasts. it's super easy to make and it keeps me full and I just like the variety of an omelette because you can just throw whatever that you want in there and it pretty much tastes great so I've just put a pan onto a medium heat Fritz in some fry light. I don't want it to stick. To start off with, I'm then just going to throw in a handful of mushrooms. Fry them off just for a couple of minutes. So just fry that off for literally a couple of minutes and then I've just whisked three eggs into a cup here and just seasoned with some salt and pepper. So I'm going to add that in. But before I'm just going to add some ham um just a handful of ham you can add bacon or anything the thing i love about omelettes is i eat them quite a lot for breakfast because you can just throw anything that you want in there um but today i'm just going to have mushroom ham and egg and probably add some cheese as well so just kind of divvy that out and then then i'll just add the egg to it So then I normally cook my omelettes in quite a low heat, probably, I don't know, for around one and a half minutes. It honestly doesn't take long at all. So I'm then just going to get some cheese out and grate that on top. You can weigh your cheese out, but I've done this so many times I kind of know <laughs> how much it is. And I'll just use a thin grater like this. So one of these kind of chef ones, because then you actually feel like you're getting a lot more cheese. But because it's so thinly grated, you're not kind of having too much. So I'll just grate some cheese over the top honestly doing it like this this is probably around 15 grams of cheese it's honestly not a lot whereas if you use a thick grater you'd probably be doubling that so then i'll just leave that again to cook for about another minute i normally try and fold it halfway through i actually desperately need to get some new pans i bought this um this never stick pan and i would not recommend this brand because they do stick <laughs> They're really annoying actually. I think especially if you are using fry light and not a lot of oil. Um, so if anyone has got any good pan recommendations then please do let me know because yeah I find by using fry light um, it does stick quite a lot in the pans and they kind of ruin them. Um, but yeah obviously I don't want to start using oil in everything so that is pretty much done. I'll just leave it for another couple of minutes and um, it doesn't look the most appetising but it tastes incredible and that's all that really matters so sorry about the lighting it's so dark in the mornings these days um but there we have it a quick breakfast omelet that i'm going to sit and eat now so i'm just going to make a cup of coffee now i've showed this coffee machine so many times i love it honestly i bought it through lockdown and it's the best investment ever if you like coffee um so i'm just going to have an extra large coffee with a splash of milk
So I'm just about to make my lunch now. Um, when I have that breakfast, it does always keep me full for quite a while. I've just had a couple of snacks. Um, I had a banana and then I had a little satsuma orange around 11 o'clock and now it is, it's half one now so I'm just about to make my lunch and for lunch today I'm going to have like a, it's kind of like a toasted sandwich but I've got this new tool, honestly it's amazing, um, it's this thing called Crimpit, I don't know if you've seen it before, um, I was sent it quite recently, they sell them on Amazon, honestly it's amazing, um, you just make it with the little bread things that you get, um, I got mine from Aldi which is then your healthy extra B on Slimming World, fill it with whatever you want and then you kind of push it down, pop it in the toaster and you've just got an ideal like little toasty. Honestly, it's such a good invention. I'll show you how to use it anyway, but yeah, so for lunch I'm going to have one of these with some tuna in it. So I'm just going to put some tuna in here. I've just got a tin of tuna. I love tuna, it's such an easy snack. So I'll, I'll probably only use around half of this to be honest. Um, and then I might just add a little bit of salad cream, which will probably be, I think salad cream's like one thin for one tablespoon. So I'll just mash that up like so. so. I'm just going to add a little bit of salad cream. I love this one. It's the 70% less fat one. Um, so literally it's probably about a, not even a tablespoon. And then some salt and pepper in there as well. I'm going to have these are I just got these from Aldi they're really nice actually they're like the Warburton thin um if I can open them blimey <laughs> but they're the Aldi version and these are the wholemeal ones and this is part of your healthy extra B if you're on Slimming World so all you do with this honestly this is amazing you just pop that in there like so and then you put whatever your filling is so I'm just going to fill it with some tuna I'll probably use about half of this and then I've got the other half left for lunch tomorrow. This is really handy as well because you can do this and then um, take it to work with you. And just pop it in the toaster. So we go just in there and then put the top on. And then you just basically, that's the wrong way. Put the top on like so and then you just get your crumpet. And push it down and you just kind of squeeze it together. Like so. And then you just pull it apart. Look, it's perfect. I've seen some people do loads of things with these. You do like little steak bakes and then you've basically got that nice and sealed. Just pop that in the toaster. And you just pop it in the toaster. And then it'll be ready in a couple of minutes. So there we have it, a super tasty, super quick lunch, which is ideal because I have another meeting in about five minutes. So I'm just about to make dinner this evening and tonight I'm going to make a burrito, but it's not a normal burrito. Okay, so I'm actually going to call it a naked burrito because it's like a burrito, but it's not in the actual wrap or anything. So it's got everything that you would normally have bar the wrap. You've got some nice spicy chicken in there. You've got some rice, um, peppers, cheese, yogurt. Um, but what I really like about this one is that it's really good if you are following Slimming World and it's super easy to make for a midweek meal because hardly takes any prep and it's honestly ready in about 10 minutes. This is everything that you'll need to make the naked burrito. So you will obviously need some chicken. I'm just using some chicken. Um, I'm using some chicken breast Millie Phillips. Um, some little tomatoes. I've just got a mixture of baby tomatoes here. A red onion, some coriander. You can leave it out if you don't like coriander. A couple of mixed peppers, I've got one red, one yellow, some lime juice. Um, this is also a fantastic addition too. It's the it's red kidney beans in chilli sauce. Super easy because then you get all the sauce in there. Um, a couple of packs of the Mexican style rice to serve it with. Some yoghurt and some low fat grated cheese. I completely forgot to get one of the key ingredients out and that is the Cajun seasoning to go on the chicken to get that a really nice flavour. 
So all I've done is just sprinkled a little bit of Cajun seasoning all over the chicken. I'll just do it in the packet because to be honest, it's a lot easier. And then I'm just going to put that into the frying pan that I've just put some fry light in. Then I'm just going to leave that on a medium heat for a few minutes whilst I get on and make the salsa. So to make the salsa, I'm just going to start by finely dicing probably around quarter of a red onion. Um, the rest of it I'm just going to fry with the pepper. And then you just want to add that to a bowl. So I've just got a bowl here, put the red onion in there. And I'm just gonna add a few tomatoes to the bowl as well. You can use whatever tomatoes that you've got lying around. Um, these were on offer in Aldi the other day, so. And they're quite nice ones. I quite like the ones that are on the bar and they seem to taste a lot nicer. They've got a lot, no, they seem to have a bit more flavor to them than some of the normal tomatoes. They are a little bit more expensive, but if they're on offer, they're not too bad. Next, you want to add some coriander. Again, if you don't like this, you can leave it out, but I quite like coriander. So you just want to finely slice that and add it to your salsa. If you have got any big stalks, just remove them, but I find chop it finely enough that I can add most of it. Once you've got that like that, then you just want to add in, I forgot to mention this, but just a little bit of sweetener, probably around half, around half a teaspoon of sweetener in there. You can use sugar, but obviously sugar will be more calories and sins as well if you're following Slimming World. And then you want to add some lime juice to there as well. Just a little bit of lime juice in there. It doesn't matter if you add a little bit more than you think because it will be quite nice when you mix this with the other flavours. Give that a good stir together and then you just want to season with some salt and pepper. And this is honestly such a simple salsa to make. Um, it's really nice just to have with like Doritos or just a salsa to have with even like fish and stuff. It's really nice. So there we have it. Our salsa is ready so I can just put that to one side whilst I get on and make the rest. Just give the chicken a quick stir before you get on and do the rest as well. You can obviously, like I said, chop the chicken up, but I sometimes just chop it up when it's cooked as well. So Next, I'm just going to thinly slice the red onion and the peppers. So whilst the chicken's just finishing, you just want to spray another frying pan with some fry light again, and then throw in the peppers and the onion. And you don't need to fry that for very long really, just probably around five minutes. And by that point, the chicken should also be cooked. Whilst the peppers are cooking, you then just want to heat up the red kidney beans and the chili sauce and then we'll use any leftovers. So just pour that into a microwavable bowl and pop that in the microwave for a couple of minutes just to heat through. Everything's nearly ready now, so I'm just going to pop these into the microwave for a couple of minutes. And I've just grated some cheese and then I'll put some yogurt into a little pot to serve with the dinner as well. And then you just want to serve it all in the middle of the table so everyone can help themselves and it honestly feels like a Mexican feast but a really low calorie, fairly healthy one. Then everybody can just get tucked in. It's around half nine now and, and I'm just about to get ready for bed and I just thought I would finish the video. Um, so what I'm going to do is just, just have a hot chocolate. I love these hot chocolates this time of year. Um, I love the options ones, but this is the Belgian chocolate salted caramel. 
Honestly, it's delicious, only 38 calories or two sins if you're following Slimming World, well worth it. So I'm just going to make that now, sit down, watch a little bit of TV before heading off to bed. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye.